we're back here on the score. We are still joined by our angels from Petrogas. Let's start it off with some questions about the competition. Last year in the Reinforced Conference, fifth place, is there a new goal for the team? Of course, finals. 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 Yeah. To enter the finals at first. Actually, we just have to push it. So, we really need to push it. So, it's not finals. just final four for this year. Yes. It's really to get into the finals. We also talked about it from fifth. Then fourth, fourth. nung yeah. all Filipino. Tapos parang kami, okay, third. But six lang tayo ngayon uh -huh. eh. So, so why, why, why not, not push final? yourselves uh -huh. forward? Finals. How about any personal goals individually? Like oh, Pangs so and, ano, mm -hmm. and, and Shen. And Shen. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely, ano, to enjoy lang every game this coming season. Kasi yun nga, marami kaming new addition. So it's very exciting to play this coming season with our new additions. How about you, Pangs? Uh, Any personal goals being personal a new member? Goals, uh, siguro, yun na nga. I mean, parang makapasok mo na kami ng Final Four, then finals. Parang bonus na lang yung pag mm -hmm. nagka-award ka. Is. What do you think are some areas that the team could improve on from your last year's performance na kakailangan ninyo to achieve that goal? Defense siguro. And mm -hmm. when it comes to Receive. offense, yung mm -hmm. service. Kasi mm -hmm. last conference, aminado kami na puro errors. Kami nagsu sa mm -hmm. service errors. Eh. So we really practice yung ano, individual skills then Okay, and another noticeable change, Coach Jerry Yi is currently a consultant for Petrogas, if yes. I'm not mistaken. And you have a new head coach, coach coming in. So are there any changes with the system of training? Same system din naman eh. Kasi during practices, even though nagpalit kami ng head coach, yung andun pa rin naman si Coach Jerry uh, every practices namin eh. Any particular team that you're very much excited to face? And I want each and every one of you to give your own answer. Ako, lima lang. <laughs> lima lang. <laughs> <laughs> Defending champion, mm -hmm. syempre. Yes, yeah. Yun yung we're really looking forward to facing them. To face them. And Especially, you know in the past, yeah. you've gotten some games against them as well. Yep. Nasa kanila kasi yung corona yeah. gusto namin eh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, gusto kasi namin makuha eh. Oh. Agawa, Agawa ng, ng corona. corona. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excited daw kay Myla Pablo. <laughs> Because? <laughs> kasi dati ko siya, former teammate. So gusto, gusto ko naman siya ngayon ano, parang ma-block. <laughs> Makaharap. Uh -huh. At paano yung maging reaction mo when you block it? Ganda ko. <laughs> How about you, Jay? Last year, you've seen some of the teams that are playing quite similar to the teams, especially the four teams that we have. Of course, cream line because mm -hmm. they're defending champs. So it's always fun to play the top team mm -hmm. and really try to give them a challenge. So. And how do you think will you be able to do that coming into this season? Oh, I'm giving it everything. Every game, no matter who, I'm giving it all. I don't want to have a game where I have regrets. So I'm going to leave it all on the court. Looking at the imports, a lot mm -hmm. of you are returning and coming back here to the Philippines. So which one are you most excited to face again? Kia Bright, because I remember playing against her last year and she gave us a challenge. So this time I'm gonna, I know what to expect now, so I'm going to come ready. So Brandele actually, nung dumagdag si Janisa. So it's going to be a lot easier for everyone. To wrap everything up, speaking about expectations, as one of the newest additions here in Petrogas, and knowing that you have that history of being a great blocker, ano pong pwedeng i-expect ng mga fans ng Petrogas mula sa iyo? Expect, uh, siguro yung, when it comes to blockings, and syempre, add ko na din yung uh, off, uh, offense ko, and yung service. Let's go to the... Original batch. Sa amin mas ano kami, uh, mas palaban kami ngayon. Since na dati kasi um, siguro nga dahil sa sinabi ko na hindi namin ganun na gel yung team. Ako tingin ko mas maganda kami tignan ngayon sa loob ng korte. Eh. Yung samahan, bukod sa iyo. <laughs> Joke lang. Hindi, yung samahan namin inside the court, mm -hmm. mas maganda siya, mas nagbe-blend, and mas palaban, everyone. Kahit sino sa amin, palaban talaga. So, that fighting attitude yes, will be seen first six and second six, walang pinagkaiba. Same attitude. Now, let's take this opportunity to invite our viewers to watch the PVL and support the Petrogas Angels. Jay? Uh, yeah, I mean, I know we're not like such a tall team but don't underestimate us we're gonna come hard we're gonna we've been working hard in practice and we're gonna show it on the court yeah and we are inviting everyone kapamilya to uh please do watch and support uh petrogas angels on pvl reinforced conference and you can watch us every wednesday saturday and sunday thank you for joining us again here on the score
Yeah. Yes. And again, we'd like to thank everyone. Catch the episodes that you missed on I Want. And this has been Sinjin Reyes for The Score. <laughs> After initially receiving deflate-proof balls from One World Play towards the end of 2018, Philippine-based Foundation Football for Humanity was recently awarded another 2020 balls for donation from Expo 2020 Dubai. We want to make sure that the balls really empower uh, the program. It really does go towards the development. It really does change uh, people's lives. The non-profit, non-government organization made its presence felt through building football infrastructures such as a unique small-sided, five-a-side enclosed spaces, donating old and new football equipment, and establishing football and community development programs to marginalized communities all over the Philippines. Football for Humanity also dipped its hands in helping and assisting young and talented Filipino players towards a better future in the sport. UAP Season 81 Rookie of the Year, Shandon Vergara, an FFH volunteer, has been accepted on scholarship in Snow College, a state college in Utah, USA, which competes in Division I of the National Junior College Athletic Association. I'm thankful to Football for Humanity because they helped me by this opportunity from the U.S. and even they're busy, they still make time for me and they expect nothing in return. Shandon sent a video compilation to FFH founder Chris Thomas who then sent it to his contacts in the U.K. So the Philippines has got a very bright future. It's going to be the next powerhouse in Asia. Start putting the right support and programs in place. It's going to be a top country to look at and it will be a World Cup competing team as well. Marching together for the next 70 years. That's the theme of this year's series of cultural events as Philippines and Korea celebrates its 70th anniversary of diplomatic ties. With a recent diplomatic relations friendship parade at the Karina Grandstand, the Philippine Sports Commission and the Embassy of Korea, together with the Korean Sports Council of the Philippines and the United Korean Community Association, the countries vowed to strengthen ties in the coming years. So we have enjoyed a very wonderful excellent uh, relationship between Korea and uh, this wonderful country, the Philippines, in many different uh, sectors. So, so, so we'll march once again uh, for the next 70 years. So we'll deepen our ties. The day continued with Filipino and Korean traditional dances, plus a performance of the Tokyo Taekwondo Demonstration Team of Korea. As what I know, there are around more than 300,000 people playing Taekwondo. A lot of players had won on the tournaments or competitions. And like what I saw that I hope this Taekwondo will be a lot more famous like the K-pop. That we will be engaging the cultural relationship in making it better. And we'll be in the center of that decision. The National Commission for Culture and the Arts also signed a memorandum with Korea's Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism to pursue various cultural exchange projects.